sheep range proper. Look at this moon in the night sky. What the early pioneers would have gazed up upon. It's a very nice breezy desert night. Look at this beautiful creature of the night. It is a scorpion, and you can clearly see its claws. This is the mine shaft. We have a very long night ahead over the mountains, so we're just going to proceed ahead. This is a section of the part of the structure that's just lying out here. Can't even recall if that was there before, it's been so long. Just a frame of reference. As you can see, sort of just sidestepping around any of these wood boards, you got sections of ladder missing. It's a uh, pretty old and flimsy thing, so it's nothing we would want to put a load on. More remnants of the structure. Okay, on the rear of the mine, we don't, we don't even recall if it was like this before. Perhaps nature, elements, rain takes its course, but so again, it's impossible to know if some changes to these old mines happens by the natural elements. Well, it's hard to think any, any potential changes would have been done by people, but again, it's hard to recall this place Maybe, maybe it looks different to the senses at night. Maybe it's been so long, who knows? Just know this is darn derelict. Straight ahead down there in the pitch darkness, that's down the saddle towards the M cave. We want to know if there are any entities out here. If so, may they come forth and respond. Okay, we are effectively down the saddle, heading towards the cut. Of course, it can't, it's not visible, hardly, but we know exactly where it is. 
passing through the cut. It's going to be very faint. The camera can't even pick up the other side. Okay, so can't pick it up, but it's visible to the naked eye. Over there, you got the camel's hump. Uh, little south, ravine one, ravine two, ravine three. The crossover point to the Northern Territories, so so called. And then, if we do a left face here, that's gonna go straight down towards Picture Canyon and the uh, and Jay's M Cave. Is there a spirit or a presence here? If so, please respond. Is there anyone present here? Any being, spirit, whether angel or demon or any other entity, please respond. If there is a spirit presence here, please respond. Looks like that rock carn fell apart. Pretty sure it's the same exact spot. We got a little nice technical right up ahead. Got a little technical coming up. Okay, once we make our way down this little technical drop, got another one, and then proceed. Well, it's possible you see rocks, they move around. There's that story about the rocks moving in the desert, but basically alive, natural sites. Look at the life down there. See the plant life. Nothing is static. So rocks move around doesn't mean someone, oh, they, they toppled it or something. Who knows? This place is probably kicking alive. Many millennia, many millennia to come. All right, focus. Okay, now we're going to make our way down. Line detached, everything is copacetic. First obstacle negotiated.
approaching the second technical drop. Second drop negotiated, proceeding. All right, the third drop, we actually took the uh, easier route towards the, uh, towards the right. So this side is a lot more steeper, so uh, we're going back towards the right, towards the easier one. So the, uh, the third drop off, so we had the first drop, the second drop, and the third one. So, but for the third one, we're gonna go mostly this way towards the right to the right corner. Okay, back to the right side. Well, to us, that's easier, so, and we believe in easy street. Never do hard work unless you have to. Okay, to get an idea of what we're talking about third drop, we prefer whatever is easier, at least for us. And so this, this would seem a lot harder. Proceed. Yeah, for those, uh, at least the first two drops, it's, uh, at least for us, we think it's pretty important to be able to, you want to be able to hold your body weight. Well, what do you know? Starting to get some light on the distant horizon towards the east, facing east, artificially enhancing the light. Okay, just about made it to the mouth of Picture Canyon, the uh, west side. And gonna proceed south towards Joe May and a truck. Okay, so long Picture Canyon. Gotta get through those little crests and hills or waves, whatever you wanna call them. South towards Jome. Okay, so well out of Picture Canyon. Proceeding south up those hills and gullies or waves. Back south towards Jome and the truck. So this course we reckon it's perhaps similar to what, to Kenny's M Cave hike, where he basically uh, had to walk south and then pop back onto Joe May Road towards his truck at the base of the wash. And finally, we're back. End of quest.